Hi everyone and welcome to my channel audio video and music entertainment. In today's video I'm going to show you how to set up the Virgin Media uh, new router which is called the Hub 3.0. Uh, the main reason I'm upgrading to Hub 3.0 is because I've got few devices in my house uh, that are uh, compatible with Wi-Fi standard 802.11 AC uh, which obviously uh, provide uh, better speeds between the router and uh, your Wi-Fi uh, devices. Uh, I've got a mobile phone and uh, Google Chromecast audio and Google Chromecast video that supports Wi-Fi AC so it would help me uh, uh, get better speeds uh, for streaming video or audio or doing any kind of uh, data transmission between my router and uh, my devices. Uh, so that is the only reason I'm upgrading to Hub 3.0. So in today's video, I'm just going to do the unboxing of Hub 3.0 and just going to do the initial setup. And uh, let's see whether in order to activate the device, I need to call Virgin Media or not. Now, uh, by making this video, it might help somebody out there who doesn't want to spend hours with Virgin Media setting up their router. Okay, so let's start. So just going to open the box. If you want, you can just forward this bit as I'm just opening the box. Okay, as I open the box, uh, I can see there is a brochure that states your quick and easy guide to setting up your services and make a call to Virgin Media. and uh, it just tells you how to connect it but I don't need it as I know what to do so let's open this so inside the box uh, uh, this is this uh, wrench right here and this is the IEC cable it's the UK IEC cable, electric cable, and here is the router, so. okay, now as uh, the default uh, name SSID of your network uh, it's written here and default password of the router is here uh, so I'm just gonna keep that because this is the default uh, SSID and router password to log on for initial setup okay uh, let's have a look at the router uh, on the back of the router uh, there is this uh, uh, cable connection cable connector uh, which is kind of like a RF uh, connector and uh, then you got four one two three four four uh, gigabit Ethernet connectors and then a good thing is you can use this router as a wipe uh, box uh, so if you insert your analog telephone lines here this box this router can act as a wipe uh, router uh, which if I'm gonna make a future video, I'll show you how to do that. But this is a really good feature to have. I mean uh, It's 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 a really good feature and there is a reset button here And then here's the power port where you connect the power adapter and here's the on and off switch the build quality is good and uh, The way it's designed is there is ventilation on the side of the router I don't think so there is any fan inside this router but uh, obviously uh, this acts as a heat sink so if the device gets warm or it's operating under warmer uh, temperature then this keeps it cool so there is a lot of ventilation uh, on the front of the router there is a, a WPS uh, button which obviously uh, you can use to set up your Wi-Fi devices uh, quickly. Okay, so on the bottom uh, 
uh, your Wi-Fi network name SSID is here and the default password is here and then there is MAC address and the serial number uh, setting power to access the setting page uh, the IP address is 192.168.0.1 which is the default IP I would recommend uh, changing that at later stage when you do your uh, uh, Wi-Fi setup uh, okay and setting passwords is 021 whatever it is I'll change that as well uh, okay so let's start the setup and uh, there is another brochure discover how to get more out of your connection and uh, basically I, i'll go through it later on okay let's see what's what else inside the box okay and so here is the power adapter okay the way uh, my Wi-Fi network is set up at the moment is I'm using the Virgin Media uh, Hub 1 as my cable uh, modem and then I'm just using a TP-Link uh, router as my main router uh, because that supports uh, better speeds between devices and stuff uh, but uh, with this I'm gonna eliminate that uh, out of equation okay so let's start with the setup just gonna this is my old one let's bring the camera down a bit okay so this is my old virgin media router which I I'm using as a cable modem at the moment so I'm just gonna disconnect the coaxial cable that is coming from outside box Virgin Media which is this is a box that's installed outside by the way this uh, new router supports Doxis uh, version 3.0 it doesn't support version 3.1 which can obviously support better speeds okay so this is just gonna be the physical connection rest of the settings I would do on the laptop and then I'll just make a video on the laptop okay uh, anyways I just found out this as well the default SSID and password is on a tag card as well so it's good I mean it's written here on a tag card and obviously on that paper as well okay so this is designed to stand vertically but with my current setup I haven't got much space so I'm just gonna lay it down horizontally like this okay so first thing is just connect the coaxial cable it's not a BNC connector, uh, it's just the consumer level RF uh, connector. So, it, and it's a coaxial cable. So just connect this to your router. I mean, this is the, this is the cable that carries all the data from Virgin Media Exchange or whatever exchange the data is coming from. And this is this is basically the main cable that connects your router to Virgin Media network or to your internet service provider okay so once that cable is in connect the adapter power adapter like this IEC cable to the power adapter one end this end goes to the router and this end goes to the means 
and there you go once you see there is a power LED indicator light here then obviously your router is booting up so rest of the setup I'll show you on the computer screen Alright guys, so next step is once you have done all the physical connections to your router, go ahead and connect with it with all the default uh, SSID and password provided inside the box. In my case, I've already connected to it and changed the default SSID and password. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and log on to it. And uh, the default uh, IP address is 192.168.0.1. Okay, so it's uh, 192.168.0.1. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video and enter the password. Uh, but in your case, uh, you would enter the default admin password, which is written on the bottom of the router. As uh, once you enter the password, uh, it will take you to a page where it prompts you to select your language. I have selected English as my primary language. And uh, then it will take you to this welcome screen, uh, which shows you like uh, the status of the router and stuff. And uh, it states that uh, it's broadcasting on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies and WPS is enabled and it's uh, online. But uh, in fact, actually uh, on your initial setup, it's not uh, online. You have to call Virgin Media uh, in order to get your router modem activated. And uh, so call the number that's written on the blue book, uh, which is provided inside the box. And it would take probably five to 10 minutes, depending on how busy Virgin Media customer service uh, is. Um, and uh, what they will ask you is to switch off your router. Uh, so they could send two different signals to get it activated. Uh, they will send two signals with interval of about 120 seconds between each other. And... Uh, uh, then they will tell you that your router is activated and probably you have to do wait another 10 or 15 minutes uh, to uh, for it to get activated so you could go on the internet while you're waiting for that I would strongly recommend that you go to advanced setting and then go into wireless settings and change the SSID uh, to your own choice and uh, to your own password for both frequencies 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz uh, frequencies and uh, if you want to change the channels and stuff obviously you could do it from this tab right here which is called wireless and then uh, change the security of it from here there is a DHCP setting it acts as a DHCP server UPnP if you are uh, uh, pr uh, planning to use your Xbox or PS4 uh, online then this needs to be enabled and uh, for any other devices like CCTV and stuff and uh, that's about it uh, all right guys if you have got any questions please uh, ask me and uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video and i'll keep making good av and it videos thank you and bye